let, let's talk about uh, distributed ETL. So once our distributed storage system is set up, um, in our case, or our use case requires uh, an ETL uh, job or extract, transform, and load. So as our data source, we will use a database of chemical compounds published by the Department of National Center for Biotechnology Information, um, which, uh, which, which is a, a sub, an, an organizational unit of the National Library of Medicine, uh, which in turn is an organizational um, unit of the uh, NIH, which is the National Institutes of Health. Uh, of health uh, of the United States. Uh, the, the database that we're going to be using is called uh, PubChem. Um, this database contains about 110 million chemical compounds. These chemical compounds must be transformed into graph format along with their metadata. So we will store the data. Um, so we will then store our data in our database. For, so that our analytical um, and transactional systems can uh, use it reliably. So there are several ways to ingest data into our storage system. Uh, for practical purposes, uh, we opted to first download the data to an, uh, a set of edge nodes specifically dedicated for data collection. Um, to carry out the task of transforming and loading the data, we've developed a program in Go and Rust languages that allows us to decode the information and encode it as graphs together with their metadata. We also use uh, the gRPC client uh, provided by TIKV in order to upload uh, the data to our storage system. Um, specifically, the Rust component is responsible for decoding the content of the chemical data and encoding it into graph format, which in turn contains the metadata uh, corresponding to the camp compound. Uh, the Go component allows us to make a connection through gRPC with the TIKV server in order to achieve an efficient data load. These components were containerized um, to enable parallel execution and thus drastically reduce the processing and load time into our distributed storage systems. And Let's go ahead and show a demo of how this uh, task or job can be parallelized. 